Um, we started in this scene around the very same time together. Um, and I was a member of Trend Kids Most Wanted. I was a member of the cast at Berlin Drag Matinee and its inception when we took that over from Mistress Vanna and Anastasia. Um, and I've had the opportunity to work with you at Milwaukee Prides and Dicks and all over. We had a very long standing working relationship um, in my time as a drag queen in Chicago before I made it on the race. Um, and for that very reason, that allowed you to exercise a certain amount of privilege over me um, in the scene. And uh, at times when you felt as if I was being too bold, you used that and weaponized that against me to try and blacklist me and stop me from working. So you directly attacked my livelihood, which is an act of violence. And I need you to understand that today. I want to also speak to a very specific experience that I had with you where we were, had already worked a show and were backstage with the staff. Um, this was at Scarlet at the time that we were doing Trinic is Most Wanted. And uh, I was the only person of color back there. Um, it was you and Bryce and somebody else. And you had made a joke because at that time we would do cast numbers at the top of the show that for Black History Month, it would be funny as a number, as a cast, if we performed to Britney Spears' Slave for You with me dressed as a slave while the rest of you whipped me. Do you remember that? I, I do. Okay. I want you to know that that experience has stayed with me for a very long time because you were somebody that I considered a friend. And the fact that my hurt and my displeasure at being subjected to that and how I had to almost beg you for an apology really let me know where I stood to you, not just as a person, but as a person of color specifically. The commentary to you that was made by you in the past, like proposing ideas of like mimicking slavery and whipping Shay as a black performer and also intentionally trying to sabotage her and me putting the timeline together of how soon these events have occurred. Like Shay made it on Drag Race when I was 18 or 19 years old. That's three or four years ago. You perpetuated insane amounts of racial violence to a black performer three or four years ago. This is not a decade, this is not seven years or anywhere within the proximity of that. This was very recent in time, extremely recent in time. Um, also, I feel like there is no, and because of this, there is no clear delineation of what you have to do to make up for this. I think the demands that you're being met with are very gracious and very lenient because if it was up to me, if I got to write these demands, I would absolutely positively insist on your removal from the scene completely. A few years ago of making someone even have to think or ponder about being perpetuate as a slave on a stage in front of people in a scene that is filled with white faggots? Are you serious? Are you serious? There's no forgiveness. If not that, what I would want to see, which is easily, easily held accountable for, is for you to take the salary that you earned at every single one of your shows, multiply that by the number of years that you have been doing these shows gatekeeping and compare it to the salaries of those girls who win Crash Landing who you pay for drag matinee, the black one. And however much time it takes for you, however much time it takes for you to add up all those years and equal it to the salary you were paying yourself, that is how long you stay out of this scene. So they may be getting $2,200 a fucking uh, six months for doing drag, that equals what, 4,400? And you may be making $100,000 a year, wait that long. When $4,400, however many years it takes, equals 100,000 and then come back. There is no forgiveness. You are done. If you could give me a reason why you deserve this second chance when you have completely kept so many other people from having second chances and completely defunded entertainers and people of color for years from even having a chance, why do you deserve a second chance? Uh, 
Um, I, you know, we talk about going forward and I mean, all I can do is to step back. Um, yeah, I, I, I fully admit that I had too much power at, um, at matinee. Um, and uh, I've already, I mean, I've already told Sean at Roscoe's, I do the, um, for XYZ, I do the booking there for um, XYZ, or at least like liaison between them. And I've said, I'll happily give that up. Um, you know, I, I, to kind of borrow from what Sean and Brandon said, from what Brandon specifically said, uh, I, I do want to help so much. And I think that there is a lot of individual conversations that need to be had. And, and also, uh, planning that needs to be done in going forward. Um, I don't need to be there for all of it, but I uh, just logistically speaking, I, I don't, I would like to relinquish, a, you know, a certain amount of power. Um, and I do yeah, think that's that definitely going to happen. 